Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we will once again be torturing an innocent human being, Jacob. Jacob. Now recently he has felt a little ill, like he's been bleeding, who knows, he's been eating his own blood by accident. So he's been trying to get some blood transfusions of the bizarre liquid and gas cell cannibalism like to do a little surgery to save him he does need constant blood transfusions though but otherwise bad things could happen but i guess he doesn't need that boom you don't need a nose draw a hole right through uh what's this look like so jacob you should be feeling a lot better you might not be able to see anything at all and you might not be able to breathe or eat ever again now you will forever think you will forever think about the horrible things that you have lived through but i don't really care and i don't think jacob would care either well we'll never know if he cares or not because he can't talk when his face consists of literally just his eye heavily messed up and just like his jaw without any teeth his lower jaw without teeth a big boy hole in his head why is his heart not beating why is his heart not beating? Why is his heart not? That was odd. His heart simply refused to beat. Jacob, explain why your heart wasn't beating. Just explain why your heart wasn't beating. That's it, murder time. Imagine if he survives. Suspiciously living. Somehow he stayed alive. Hold on, I'm going to stop time, I'm going to go full on the wild door. So one thing is I'm going to stop time, replace it with some other material. I'll replace it with quartz. But I imagine it might actually be worth trying. Wait, I think that actually worked. No way. Oh my god, it, it worked. It actually worked. He's alive, and I've replaced his brain with quartz. His heart refuses to beat, though. Let me see uh, where which part is meant to beat. Wi-Fi. Here's some portal in. Detects bizarre. Uh -huh. So portal in. Why is his heart not beating? Gravity pump. Hold on. Hold on. So I'm going to test something. Since he's all fine and alive, as you can see, would he have his heart beating if I did a bit of this oh my god it worked oh my god so control L So switch to seven. Press that. It's all different colours and stuff. Oh my god. It says that he's really steaming hot. Which is a bit bizarre. <laughs> but in all seriousness. Control B. Ay 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 ay. What a foolish mistake. Um. So what are you at? 
So that means you're So I don't get the gravity pump thing. Well, that's fine. It says he's alive, despite his heart clearly not beating. It's gonna let that blood flow. Uh, you know what? I am just gonna go ahead and turn off that gravity pump. Uh, what's with that? You know what, I could probably get rid of all of his blood if I really wanted to. Like just gone it. And only his brain would matter. Oh my god, it's like this magical force field in the heart that's stopping anything from passing through. That's why I'm removing all things. That's why I'm removing the heart. There we go. The heart might never beat, but you do not have one, Jacob. And your brain is made of a hard rock. And apparently you're burning hot. You're just going to be a robot by the end of this. Just gonna be a robot. In all seriousness, you'll be a machine. Your head technically is a machine. Okay, I'm so glad I did not actually breach the blood part of there. But I can if I wanted to. Portal out. Yeah, there's a portal out down. There's a portal down. Another portal out. Gone. Boom. I don't need to worry about dumb things like that. I'm just going to let the blood like flow. He's all alive, but it does say that his blood is not flowing and that his heart's not beating. Uh, although it is flowing, I'm guessing the thing it's using to detect the blood flowing must be like in the heart, which I removed completely. Um. Only his brain is working because I put a battery in there, a double A. And who needs legs? Goodbye legs. Oh, and also you can say goodbye to your upper legs, so you don't need your upper legs either. I don't think you need your spine. Hmm. Let me see. If I were to go... Here. Yeah, your spine is basically literally not doing anything. So I think I can get rid of it. Yeah, I'm just going to remove his, um, this useless spine of his. Like, you really don't need it. You only need a quartz head. You don't need a messed up eye. You only need a lack of eye. Or blood flow to that area. Look at him. He's amazing. Just look at him. He's the best being to ever walk on this earth. He is alive, for your information. Jacob is alive. He is fully aware of the horrible things he is experiencing. Yet, he actually shouldn't be fully aware at all. He shouldn't be aware of any of this at all. Well, maybe he would be. Maybe he'd have memory from earlier on in the surgeries like when I removed smaller parts like his nose that's all without anaesthetic I'm going to get rid of his skin that way he can't feel the pain you don't need skin it's only going to make you 
feel the pain. You will forever live like this. I will preserve your brain for centuries to come and everyone will marvel like, oh my god, this is the robot Jacob. And they'll just look at this horrible mess and they'll be like, oh my god, it's so amazing. What an advanced piece of technology. Well, you will scream in pain, Jacob. Talking to you, Jacob. You will scream in pain and agony. Trust me, Jacob. You will not enjoy the millennia that you will live in. You will have to remember all of the hell. I think that's going to be all for today. Goodbye. Remember to subscribe or else you will die.